Hi there, in this example um, we are going to be looking at terrain building and I'm just going to be showing you how to raise and lower terrain, smooth surfaces and also how to ring in some water as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly choose my linear square brush which allows me to draw straight lines and I'm just going to now start off down here holding left click, it's going to come up see it down here there we go and just to finish off I'm just going to use one there we go, so here's my square weld but what I am going to do though is choosing a different terrain here I'm just going to choose number 5 here I'm just going to just draw a little square area here. Okay, so very, very basic stuff to start off with. So what we're going to do here is use this tool here. And it's called um, Up and Down, Create Hills or Valleys. Okay, and left is to raise terrain and right is to lower terrain. So I'm just going to hold the space key here, just get a different view of what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm just going to go up just a little bit and zoom out just a little bit. So, now you can alter the size of your brush. So I'm just going to, use in the left key, now I'm just going to raise my green area here. So I'm going to make this back corner here the highest point and then the rest can fade into it. I'm also going to just raise this part of this the screen here too. So this is what I've created so far. Now it's quite bumpy and stuff and this part of the sea bit's a bit too high for me. So have a look here now. And that's roughly what I'm after. So what I'm going to do now is using a different tool I am going to smooth over the terrain. And to do that you can, you've got flatten, make ground smooth or level. Okay. And right click is to make level and left click is to smooth. So I'm just going to start smoothing over the edges. So if I just zoom in here we can see what this does. And you can see it doesn't make it as blocky. It kind of smooths over the blocks there. See that? It's a nice effect there. So I'll hold space key now we go around that's a lot better, a lot smoother. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's what that does. Okay, that's the smoothing tool. And then on the, on this option here you've got uh, rough and create spiky or hilly ground. Same principle. What we're gonna go in now though is we're going to make some um water. So I'm gonna choose the water, I'm gonna choose number one. And left click is to raise water and right click is to um, lower the water. So what I'm going to do now is just left click. And you see the higher you raise the water in the, in the world, you see at the areas where it's, it's overlapping my grass area there and coming in here too. Okay, so if you wanted to you could go back and, and raise that ground, I'm just going to quickly around here and so that's a very good view so I've got some water in here so I could put a, a sprite in the water if I wanted to so I just showed you how to raise the terrain lower the terrain smooth the terrain and insert some water which is straightforward enough and you can see how easy it is for students to create a world it's absolutely fantastic okay so what could we put in here so I'm just going to quickly just just for just as an example I could right click somewhere and add an object and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fish and there's my fish and I right click on my fish and I say program when or we're just going to leave it blank when the game starts what do I want it to do I want it to move and I want it to wander around the place so when I press escape there's my fish just wandering around the water 
and great fun. Okay, so that's how you create, um, once you're well building here, you can just have random sprites that can just float around and do nothing but just wander. They're just there um, to, um, just for show really, okay? And then you could, for instance, um, completely um, add other elements to your world, maybe like a tree. Here's my tree. And I could, for instance, over here add another tree. Okay, pick him up, put it up here. And then obviously you've got your chain size and stuff, so you can have a really big tree here. And that one's your smaller one. So once you navigate around, you see you can completely start to build your environment, which is awesome. Okay. So, and that is world building. And you can imagine it's zooming out here, the space you have to create your world is absolutely amazing. It's fantastic. So there you go.